Drive. Does the drive continue here? Jets show blitz. They're going to bring it. Tebow trying to run around the corner. Tebow's got a first down and more. He might score. Touchdown! <laughs> I wonder about this. How much of a role does God play in winning or losing a football game? Uh, I mean, that's a, that's a good question. I think for me, uh, you know, when I'm praying before games and during games and when I get on a knee and what's become t bowing is, you know, I'm asking the Lord for strength, whether I win, whether yeah, I, I lose. I heard you when you are mic'd up. Whether I'm a hero or the goat, okay. right? I'm still going to be the same person. I'm going to treat others the way I want to be treated. I'm going to do my best, and I'm going to do what's right. And regardless, I'm going to give Him the glory. And part of taking a knee is humbling yourself, and it's a form of, of showing humility where you're putting someone else first and yep. putting the Lord first, and that's why I do it. And um, and more than anything, more than asking for wins or losses, I'm asking that I have a platform to honor Him. Ready to go. Here we go. Dalton going for it all. Tip in the air. Caught by the Bengals. A.J. Green. Green. Ravens trying to end it here. Fourth down. Dalton steps up. Dalton throws. It's complete. Caught by Boyd. Tyler Boyd. Touchdown. Remarkable. The Cincinnati Bengals have stunned this crowd. Where did your faith in Christ start? Yeah, so I, I grew up in a Christian home. I grew up going to church, and uh, I'm very thankful for that. Um, I accepted Christ when I was in third grade. Um, in my living room at my house, Is that and right? so yeah, so um, you know, I feel very just blessed to have the story that I ha I, I have that I and I didn't have to have the big falling out or um, you know the the big moment where it's like I need to turn my life around. I feel blessed to, that my parents raised me the right way, and um, you know that I was able to make my faith my own early on. And uh, obviously, I've grown throughout time, and then um, getting married to a, a godly woman, and uh, to be able to share that faith uh, together is—it's uh, it's what you want. Rebound taken by Iguodala. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! With six tenths of a second remaining. Rebound with time for Green. You got a push here. You get a good shot. Green weaving, trying to get the shot up. No call that way. Curry flings it the other way. And he got it! What a turnaround! Curry the three! A miraculous shot by Curry, the length of the floor. For three. Being saved is a great feeling. What a night! The relationship with Jesus Christ started um, around middle school. Uh, my parents. I had us in church every Sunday, every Wednesday. It was more a tradition at that point. Um, I didn't have a personal relationship with, with, with the Lord um, until one altar call on a Sunday. And you know, the youth pastor told us we needed to make a decision for ourselves. We couldn't rely on our parents. Um, it had to be a decision on our own, and, and that's when I made it. Liner to right field, Jenyette, the first red ever, with four home runs in a game. Unbelievable. Can you believe it? Woo. The 
take you back to the first inning. Each and every time before Scooter Jeanette plays and comes to the plate, he does this. He did it in Milwaukee, and he does it now here in Cincinnati. He draws a fish. Now, this is the Jesus fish. Very famous Christian story behind it. He's very strong in his faith. And he says he does it, just like the good book says, to spread the gospel, that if some fan looks down and wonders, well, what is that fish drawn in the dirt, that it might draw them into Christianity or draw them closer, in this case, to Jesus, in which he says he plays the game for. So if you see that fish in the dirt, now you know where it came from. Folks will have that one time out. Now you need to pick it up. Manning looks for the quick throw. Throws to Reggie. Touchdown! Oh! Reggie wins! Well, oh, yes, yes, yes! The Colts win! They win! And for Bill Belichick, this will be a decision they discuss for a long, 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 long time. Like I said, football is really, really important to me. And you, know, you get during the season and you get into the heat of battle and you think there's nothing more important than and then winning this game, when in, in reality there are so many more important things out there. So I've always felt it's important to have a, have a good relationship with the Lord. Uh, you know, He always has to be your number one priority. Um, so uh, I grew up in a good, uh, a good Christian home. My parents, you know, we went to Sunday school and church every Sunday. So uh, it's always got to be your number one priority. And he'll just handle it himself. That takes care of Hazley to start the inning. Vaughn swinging is Miller. And then the pitcher's spot. High drive into left center by Michael Lorenzen. Yes, sir! Goodbye, Michael Lorenzen. Maybe Blake Parker didn't know he was a pitcher slash position player. The guy is just an unbelievable athlete. Unbelievable. And this guy gave me you know, the, the gospel message, and he said, well, this is why Jesus came. He came because you are imperfect. We are all imperfect. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that means I have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, but the difference is that I have chosen to give my sin to Christ and, and, and allow Him to to be my sacrifice, and now I, now I truly live for Him. And I've given my life to Him, and it hit me. I, I, I had to think about everything that he said. I think I was the only one that left that place and was really impacted. Um, God had really chosen me to be spoken to. Second to last game of the season, third round of the playoffs. Um, I was the starting quarterback. Um, I suffered a torn ACL in my knee. It was devastating, devastating for me. Junior high school too, this was when you're supposed to get recruited and just all of these things. I had to wait to have surgery for a month because they had to let the MCL heal before they repaired the ACL and then I was still on crutches and it was just, I'd hit that point. I had seen friends have that injury and never come back quite the same. So what I thought was just gonna be my life sports I felt like was being stripped away from me and I remember sitting in church on my 17th birthday and sitting in that same pew where my brother and I used to just goof around and never pay attention and for some reason that day it was different and I was locked in um, on the pastor as he was sitting there talking about how the Lord was looking for a few good men to carry on his kingdom to spread his word and to live the life that, that he had planned for them and that spoke to me and it was at that moment that I accepted Jesus Christ into my heart and knew that there was something that was bigger planned for me than just sports we want to see and touch and feel in order for it to be real for us and yet 2 Corinthians 5-7 I'll tell you you'll be led by faith and not by sight you know so much of life is that it's it's faith in God knowing that he's got a plan and at times you don't understand it and you're not going to see it um, and yet you just have to trust and you have to have faith oh 
on two. Got him. He's done it. this awesome community and um, you know I think you call everybody kind of calls themselves a Christian around here and so I, I started doing the same thing I was like oh yeah I'm a Christian and you know I went to church on Sundays and kind of did all the things but um, you know I don't think it was until probably like junior senior sophomore maybe sophomore year sophomore junior year that I was really like well what is this you know what is Jesus what does this really mean to me you know what is this Jesus guy all about and um, you know, I didn't want to just keep calling myself that without having some type of knowledge. So it wasn't until I started asking myself those questions that, you know, I really started to make, uh, you know, my faith my own and, you know, really kind of gave, uh, kind of gave control over to him. And um, that was, uh, that was a big step for me, for sure. You know, I, all, all the things that I do, all this baseball stuff, uh, you know, everything in Africa, all the charities is all that stuff is all great. But the ultimate glory is not for us. You know, we're not here to try and uh, try and gain accolades for ourselves and gain fame and all this stuff. I think, you know, the reason that um, we play baseball and I get to do interviews like this is to understand that, you know, God gave us all these opportunities uh, to glorify Him. And I think that's, uh, that's, uh, that's kind of what uh, it's all about. Manning, because you don't want him to get the ball too many times. You don't think you can hold him out. And here we go. This could decide the game. Fourth and goal. Uh -oh. And they're going to snap it. And it's Trey Burton who throws caught. Foles. Touchdown. How do you figure? You know, I grew up in a Christian household. I knew Jesus, had a relationship, went to church, but I'd never really given my life to Christ until my freshman year of college at Michigan State. And uh, there's a lot of things that went on in that year that basically brought me down to zero confidence to where I just didn't have the strength to do anything. Um, my shoulder had just been repaired. I could barely throw a football, things going on with my family. And uh, there was a moment in a parking lot where I just you know, started crying, just gave my life to Christ, just saying like, basically, God, I, I, believe, I believe in you, I believe in you, Jesus. Um, I'm gonna trust in you every day of my life. I don't know what's going on right now. Uh, you just feel so empty, but at that moment, everything changed. What about your purpose and how you can now, now that you gave your life to Christ, how has that changed you in, in the way that you get to live out your faith? Uh, my purpose is in all I do to glorify God, to do things that basically I'm scared to do at first, but cast out that fear by trusting in God, trusting in Christ in my life. Um, there's days where I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but then I turn, turn to God, turn, turn to the Word, pray about it, and just go out in faith and cast out that fear. And that's sort of been what I've really been focusing on. This. As a Christian athlete, people are watching, and so we want to be the best um, example that we can be and, and, and show that, that we are different, that Christ has changed our lives. But at the same time, uh, you know, I want people to know that, that grace is for everyone. We all need grace. We all need Christ. Romans 5a is one of my favorite verses. It says, but God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us.